Development of radio technology. We can trace the beginnings of radio technology to the late 1800s, where many scientists, inventors, and businessmen contributed to the development of radio. The first was Heinrich Hertz, a German physicist responsible for the discovery of receiving and transmitting electrical waves. Hertz had no knowledge of his discovery being foundational in the development of radio. He was only proving a prior theory. Hertz is known for this foundational discovery and our frequency measurement, Hertz, is named after him. Radio development then leaped forward with Nikola Tesla's inventions of alternating current machinery, transformers, and most importantly, the radio for the Tesla coil. In 1895 to 1899, Guglielmo Marconi successfully transmitted wireless signals of symbols over distances. Marconi's first transmission started at two miles, and his final in 1899 was the letter S, transmitted from Newfoundland to England across the Atlantic Ocean. The next groundbreaking development came from a Swedish inventor named Ernest Alexanderson. Alexanderson developed the first alternator capable of the transmission of speech. Before this invention, previous alternators had only been able to transmit dots and dashes of telegraphs. Building off previous inventions, Reginald Fessenden developed a way to carry sound and radio waves. At first, Fessenden struggled and failed with his experiments, but with the help of the Alexanderson alternator, he successfully transmitted long-range sound from Brant Rock, Massachusetts. Next is Edwin Armstrong an army officer and engineering professor who was influ influential in the development of early radio. Armstrong developed FM or frequency modulation radio and the regenerative circuit. His developments improved radio technology and provided a base for cell phones that we know today. In 1915, Lee DeForest improved on the bulky cumbersome alternators of the time by creating the vacuum tube transmitter. This invention was used greatly in World War I and lasted until the 1950s when the transistor radio was invented. These techno technological inventions helped develop radio into a usable asset for society at the time. By 1920, the first, first authorized radio network, KDKA, aired the election results and has been a network ever since. Authorized networks began to spread rapidly from 30 in 1922 and then exploding to 556 by March of 1923. These early stations ranged from educational to advertising to police and fire departments. Radio soon became big business with certain businesses fighting over control of the radio market. This created major radio market networks that we know today. The first being NBC or National Broadcasting Company followed by CBS, Columbia Broadcasting System, and later ABC, American Broadcasting Company. These companies we know today as major television networks started out in radio and eventually merged into television. When the technology of television came about, the golden age of radio diminished as television became the more popular way of receiving information. Radio still exists today in many forms and still provides many uses in society. And in today's news, Private Presley departed Fort Hood, Texas for Bremerhaven, Germany for an 18-month tour of duty.